Hello, and welcome to Sherry Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, where we have a wide selection of 350 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock, ready for immediate delivery. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button so you can be sure to see all of our new arrivals as soon as they hit the lot, just like this one here today. Also, if you want to see all the still pictures of the specific unit or anything else on our lot, please visit our website at sherrychrysler.com. That's S-H-E-R-R-Y-C-H-R-Y-S-L-E-R.com. Today we're showing you a brand new arrival, 2007 GMC Acadia. Uh, this is the all-wheel drive version and in very, very good condition considering the year and miles. As you can see, it is in maroon in color. Uh, the hood and the front bumper seem to be in very good condition. I don't see any blemishes in the paint, nor do I see dents, scratches. Um, overall, in very, very good condition. The one mark I did notice when walking around it is right here on the side. It uh, looks like it has been scuffed up uh, slash scraped. But other than that, overall, this vehicle is in excellent condition. The tires on this, I'd rate these at basically brand new. So there's no need to worry about in the future having to get tires with the specific unit. Um, they definitely are, do have plenty of tread depth uh, left um, on them tires. 18 inch factory um, rim there, it's an aluminum wheel, uh, very nice wheel, standard on all the GMC Acadias in this year. This is the SLT model, which is gonna give you a lot, a lot of cool features that are built into from this from the factory. On the rear of it, you're gonna notice right here, it does have the backup sensors that do run along the crossed, across the back bumper there. And like I said, guys, as you can see with the badging right over here, it is the all wheel drive version. Dual exhaust located down there along with your trailer tow group and it does have a seven pin wiring hookup on this. Mud flaps on the rear and those are factory also with the GMC logo on them. This particular GMC kid does have the 3.6 liter V6 motor in it and with it being all wheel drive and a seven passenger, there's no reason you shouldn't get phenomenal fuel economy on this. Um, I know there's guys getting in the mid 20s in these things. So very, very good fuel economy when it comes to a seven passenger SUV that is all wheel drive. Power locks located right here, power side mirrors, power windows, and it also has a power seat. Leather seating as you can see, automatic overhead headlighting on the right hand side of the steering wheel you have all your cruise control settings and then on the right hand side of the steering wheel you have all the information or the settings to adjust your radio which is a nice feature and you also have controls on the back hand side that will increase and decrease your volume on your radio and like I said, this vehicle does have 129,000 miles on it, but it definitely does not show it inside and out. This vehicle is in very good condition. Starting at the top in between the driver and passenger seat, you do have the home link system here, so you can program up the three garage door openers directly into this vehicle. Prior to that, you do have your AM, FM uh, radio located right here uh, with both AM and FM um, stations available. And it also does have all your uh, information or your buttons located right here that are going to help you with your information center, which is located in between up top here where your miles, how many miles are on the vehicle. There's a bunch of stuff that can be shown in there, whether it's your tire pressure, there's some settings in there where you can adjust um, locking your doors, uh, your mirror settings, and some other stuff that's located in there. So a bunch of information oriented um, items that are located in there. Underneath that, you are gonna have your climate control settings. This vehicle does have dual climate controls. Over on this side, you're gonna have your driver. And then over here, you're gonna have your passenger. Right now, I do have it on the auto feature, and I do have it on 77 degrees throughout the whole entire cab. But like I said, I can change that by simply hitting the passenger button. And now the passenger is set on 74, the driver on 77, but it still has the auto feature. So what that auto feature does is it blows out the proper temperature at the proper speed speed to maintain the, the desired temperature that you have programmed um, on the display there. This vehicle does have heated front seats for the driver and passenger and it also does have your tow button located right here. Plenty of storage located right here under this, this arm it has an armrest right here, a little armrest with storage um, underneath there as you can see there. 
which is a really nice feature. It does slide, as you can see, uh, to make sure you find your proper um, arm position that you need. More stores located underneath that right here, and it does have a closing door. Same with the passenger seat. Seems to be in very good condition. I don't see any rips, tears, scratches, nothing at all. Uh, it does have WeatherTech floor liners throughout this vehicle. Um, so whoever did own it definitely took very, very good care of this vehicle. I did drive it up the road. The brakes uh, do not pulsate. It shifts through all the gears. I couldn't find anything mechanically wrong with it when driving it. Seems to be in very good running order. Rear heat and AC system. So the passengers in the rear of this vehicle can't operate the rear heat and AC. Adjustable center seats, as you can see here, this seat right here is located a little bit further than the one over here, so you can adjust it to your preference. And it does also have the child safety hooks located right here, and then on the other side also. That is great for when tethering a car seat um, into the vehicle safely and securely, which is uh, the number one uh, thing you want to do. And like I mentioned earlier, I said this was a seven passenger vehicle and I was mistaken. This is actually an eight passenger SUV. So uh, there again, it can hold eight passengers, not seven, which makes it just a little bigger than most of the midsize SUVs uh, that are especially all wheel drive that can get you 25 miles per gallon. Again, guys, this vehicle is a 2007 GMC Acadia, all wheel drive, leather seating, heated seating, uh, dual heat, dual heat and AC, so you can switch your zone between the driver and passenger. Tires seem to have extremely good tread on them. I drove it down the road and it drives phenomenal. The brakes don't pulsate, shifts through all the gears and drives straight down the road. Guys, if you're looking for a really nice SUV at a great payment, this is the one for you. It's located at Sherry Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. If you want to look at all the still pictures of the specific unit with a full description of everything that's on it, please visit our website at sherrychrysler.com. That's S-H-E-R-R-Y-C-H-R-Y-S-L-E-R.com. If you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button so you can be assured to see all of our new arrivals just like this one here today as soon as they hit the lot.